Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a really important review for gamers that love the Nintendo Switch, and that is the Hurry Split Pro Pad. Now, this Pro Pad is really something that has gotten me a lot more into gaming on the go. To be quite honest, my Nintendo Switch basically stays docked and never used most of the time since I've owned it. However, this has really changed my mind on it. See, I didn't like the gaming on the go feel just because the controllers were too tiny for me. They just, I, I could play it, I could use it, but it just wasn't as good as when I did the Pro Controller from Nintendo. So this is like having a Pro Controller on the left and right of the Nintendo Switch. So this has really been so much better. You have the D-pad back, which I absolutely love. You have the ability to actually have really sizable buttons. Like the YXBA is just so much better on this that I just love it. And it really is obviously noticeable in things like fighting games. And it just, it works so much better that I can't recommend this enough. I think if you play on the go, the grip is better. You're gonna be able to hold it for longer. Your arms aren't gonna cramp up. Your hands are gonna cramp up. It is a little bit more weighty to it, but yet at the same time, it's definitely better. And one of the reasons why I think the Nintendo Switch, I would always keep instead of the Nintendo Switch Lite, just because I really do need better buttons and this provides so much of a better experience. Now, it's not perfect, mind you. The biggest downside of this is definitely the fact that you cannot use it when you're not on the go. So basically, if you dock it, these do not have Bluetooth, they don't have anything like that. It is literally just for when you connect it and slide it in that they work. So that being said, this is ideal for, again, playing on the go, and then when I dock it at home, then I just use my Nintendo Pro controller. That is my thing. I really just do not like using these traditional little Joy-Cons because they're too tiny and I just, I don't like them. So this is the best solution that I have found that's on the go. And you know what? I've been playing a lot more Nintendo Switch when I've had a moment on the go, stop by a Starbucks, drink my coffee, play some games and go back at it. This is just a so much better experience. And I think if you are a gamer that really does appreciate a good controller, this is something that you should invest in. It is $50, again, almost the price of a Nintendo Pro Controller, but to me, it's well worth it. You obviously never have to worry about battery life and it's not draining your Switch's battery life either. So that is a plus in that sense. But again, this is for on the go gaming. If you like to play your Nintendo Switch on the go, or if you're like me that you never did play it on the go, this is something that I just have to recommend because I have gotten so much use out of it that I thought you should know about it. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me.